Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing out there? Our Prasada coming at you with another video. Today I'm going to do a mail day video. This one is coming from my good friend, brother's family, RSR Cards and Collectible. They have a very good uh, live stream auction that they do. Um, you guys go check them out. They, uh, they're they pretty good on helping people out with the building their collections. Um, they've helped me tremendously with mines, um, adding some good Tim Brown, some Rich Gannons, um, some Kobe Bryant's, and uh, they just helped me with my PC. I'm just starting collecting this year, so it very helped me a lot. I uh, very appreciate that a lot. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. They, all, um, I already opened it, but I haven't really opened up the packages. This is the first time you guys see me pulling it out of the mail bo uh, bag. Um, the reason why is because this is how they ship it A1 every time. Every time. This is what I got to go through. And it's, hey, they make sure they get get the cards here safe, which I appreciate. No no complaints. Um, you know, they bubble wrap everything for sure um, that I've gotten. Uh, always have cardboard and extra padding, which is, you know, what could I ask for? So that's kind of why the other ones, they were already opened up and everything because uh, I think you guys wanted to see me struggling trying to open up their packages. Got my handy dandy pocket knife. Yeah, back when I was a kid, this was the only weapon I, you were uh, still tough and was able to walk around in half. When I was a kid, whoever had the gun was the coward, was he whip, whatever, you know what I mean? Nowadays it's different, but... That's not my generation, <laughs> so I'm gonna worry about that. Um, got some. Yep, they label them usually, uh, which is pretty awesome. Which is the auction cards, uh, which is uh, I don't ask for it. It's not given. Um, I'm not sure if they do this with everybody, but um, they give me bonus cards like almost every one I want to say they've given me bonus cards which is um, very appreciative like I say uh, RSR cards and collectibles they they very uh, they care about your collection for sure let me try to get this focus oh, it's not focusing whatever there it is you guys um, yeah they, they are always sending bonus cards which is great I mean um, yeah thank you those are very appreciative uh, and um, they label auction cards. If anybody um, gets you anything and sends it your way, they for sure put the um, the note on there so you know, like, wait, why, where did I get this card from? If you know, the, someone gave it to you in the room, then they'll let you know, which is awesome. And um, so yeah, everybody go check out RSR cards and collectibles and. Share his uh, channel, you know, let's get this guy to a thousand for sure. Let's get this channel to a thousand. Um, see, he got, uh, gave me a note. says, thank, thank you for your continuous support. We in, included some awesome bonus cards. RSR, Bob's, wait, Rob, Rob and Bubba. And, sorry, I don't know the middle one. That's my handwriting is pretty much the same, so I'm surprised I can't read it. So, uh, well, thank you guys very much and appreciate it for sure. Thank you guys. Um, you guys are almost like my, well, you guys are part of my family. <laughs> my my uh, social media family is what I call you guys. So, let's get into this one. Holy smokes, I went crazy on their auction, huh? I think I missed one, that's probably why. <laughs> Then, like I said, I'm just starting out my collection and um, very, very hard to go into someone's room when they uh, think about you and your collection and then they throw cards for your collection. So that's a bonus. And um, what I don't like is how uh, my cards end up. I always have to auction for them. Never once could I just go and place a bid and, oh, it's your card, <laughs> which is totally fine with me. I, I just know that I'm, I, I know good players, I guess, when I ask for, you know, Bo Jackson, um, uh, just names, actually, uh, what is it, uh, Sosa, McGuire, and, you know, Tim Brown, uh, Junior Seah, which is, uh, I believe I got some of his cards in here, too, which is, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably start with his because, um, you know, there's a... a a lot of um, defensive players that are very good, great, and could hit and clog up holes and chase people down, but 
I have yet to see somebody do it as good as this guy. Like, as pure and as natural as, as he was at doing what he did and hitting and everything. And then what also makes me want to um, collect him is that uh, he had very bad migraines. And um, since a kid, since I was about 12 years old, I went and got diagnosed with an impulsive migraine disorder. Um, I get triggered migraines uh, simply by eating bad dairy, um, simply by working too much, not getting enough sleep, um, and it sucks. I mean, when I'm talking about migraines, it, it takes you to the point of throwing up, you know, can't open your eyes for nothing, um, any little thing, said, uh, it just, it's not a good feeling at all, and you know, I'm, uh, he did commit suicide, he shot himself in the chest uh, with the shotgun that he owned in his home. And um, the uh, you know the sad thing about it was the he did that just so he could preserve his brain so they could do research on it because the migraines were just were just too bad that he couldn't um, couldn't take it no more and you know that's just very sad because he was a very good good football uh, player <clears throat> and um, yeah a very good father too and you know gone too soon is what I say. And yeah, that's why I'm collecting them though, because you know, a little personal uh, migraine disorder connection. <laughs> Weird, but whatever. This one's pretty cool. It's like a little 3D to it. A little warm in here. Turn the fan down. But yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome cards right there. Appreciate these two going into my personal collection. Get to talk about them. You know, show the cards off. Tell people his story. Tell them a little bit about mine's my migraine disorder, and you know, with all that being said, what don't what don't kill you will only make you stronger. So, yeah. Oh, got some bonds now. Very man. Oh, shooting here again. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, that's the story I got him. Why I collect Junior Seau, and then of course you know Mark McGuire. Um, growing up, that that race between him and Sosa. Oh my gosh! I think every day I'd wake up, or every time they would play, and see if they hit a home run, and who passed who, who got to sixty first, and oh man, that was a that was a good one. It was that, but that's why I collect Mark McGuire and Sosa, because of course they were, uh, you know, who I watched hit home runs growing up. Uh, besides Barry Bonds, you know, they're the ones I was playing baseball and go home and watch TV and watch the A's and yeah, and that's kind of why I collect those and Bonds, of course, being a giant. Uh, not a giant fan, but being in California, lived pretty close to San Francisco. Got a lot of friends who are Giants fans, and me being a baseball player, you know, I understand the game. Um, do I respect that he juiced up? No. Everybody did it. Uh, he just got caught, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, but I'm just glad that I was able to watch some great baseball. You know what I mean? Let's get into some Raiders. Got some nasty patches right here. Yeah. Washington. What year is that? 16 Washington. And some nice Raider cards right here. Yeah, they basically, they helped me with my PC. Um, thank you guys very much. I appreciate all these very much. And like I said, it's um, it's very hard to pass up these cards when everything starts for pretty much a dollar, you know what I mean? And then uh, if not, it's only like three bucks for something else. And um, believe it or not, you actually had slabs starting at five. You know what I mean? Like, come on, you guys, slabs. Like, I don't, slabs. <laughs> They're tight. I like these. these. Like I said, I'm just started collecting these this year. So um, I think I've only bought slabs from two other YouTubers. Um, uh, sorry, I can't remember them off the top of my head. I want to say uh, Jimmy Guns and maybe uh, Coach K. Maybe. I think, yeah, those would be the two. I'm pretty sure. 
but uh, these are the ones that I got from RSR. To a focus. Start taking it out the tea bag. You can see all the, the reflection, all the cards that still need to be open for mail days. <laughs> All in packages still. All I've done is open them up and haven't yet. Oh, gold pack right there. It's wicked. Wicked. Oh, boy, there's some good ones in there. Got a lot of mill days. I've been busy at work, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I promise to to, uh, to get them to you guys. If you guys like them, if you guys want to see them, for sure, mention them in the comments. And, um, you know, feel free to tell me where you guys are from because I'm from Stockton, California, and that would actually be nice to introduce, um, to get to know some of you guys, is know where you guys are from. Because, uh, which is this, a 1969, baby. I wasn't even thought of. Look at that car. Yeah. Thank you so much, RSR. If you guys want to add anything to your collection, don't forget to go stop by the auction. Holler at them. Let them know what you like to collect. Just know it will be on an auction board. So if you do say some, somebody you like, you might have to pay for it. <laughs> and then here goes. I believe some more auction cards. Uh... These are the Mark McGuire's right here that I picked up. Oh my god, man. it's hard to focus on this side. I'm liking my car. Man, the entertainment I got from this guy right here, though. Hitting home runs. Man. That's why I was playing baseball. But unfortunately, I was more of a Sosa fan, believe it or not. I don't know. For some reason, I just liked his celebration. The, so, could I say that was me when I played baseball, my All-Stars, and I remember hitting my first home run in the All-Stars. I thought I was the man. So, of course, I had to, you know, and point up. And, yeah, I got a lot of crap talked to me when I did that. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, some little story about that yeah I got a Bowman first right there Miguel right Miguel oh what got some Dion look at that Adding some Dion to the collection what what you played for what 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 is this super athlete right there don't have those no more do you Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's some... Tell me why I don't see why all of us weren't athletes growing up. And if you guys are, then you guys should respect a lot of these athletes that are playing nowadays and all the effort they they get in to entertain us, even though they are playing a game. Yes, these are all just, you know, cards that were auctioned for um, anybody to get. And I, you know, I PC a lot of these players. Um, as far as teams, I really don't PC baseball teams. If it is a team, it would only be Raiders and Lakers. Um, as far as baseball, since I played it, I'm more of a, uh, a, um, a fan of the player who is a, a good baller. You know, it go, goes out there and... Um, it's just a good uh, baseball player in general, you know what I mean? Me playing it, uh, I could watch it, but it gets very boring and tedious because, you know, I'm just sitting there guessing on what the pitcher's going to throw, what he should throw, and getting mad if the guy don't hit it. It's not that fun watching. I like playing it, but, yeah, when it comes to the collecting and the baseball cards, uh, I, I like... Um, the team wise is Lakers and Raiders as far as players for uh, for baseball has really no teams in California. I'll 
collect any California team um, when it comes to baseball. Um, as far as like personal collection, it's just certain players when it comes to the baseball. So fresh. I believe that's probably like the first time I've ever had to change a sleeve. <laughs> Which is remarkable. I like that. got some Bo Jacksons. This is, I actually like these these season ticket bows. I think I actually got a couple of these already, which is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. I like that one. I like the tickets. And then the, the, the man of the uh, driving the car. If you guys like what you see don't forget to give this video a like if you want to share it go ahead and share it if you guys think somebody should see this um for sure we're a little over 15 minutes now going on 17 we'll throw a little motivation quote out there for you guys a um, little setback for a major comeback so you know whatever that uh means to you it means um I mean a lot of different things but you know to me uh, I've had a lot of major setbacks and all they did was set me up for a major comeback uh, 18 years old felt like I was on top of the world you know got brought back down a little setback for a major comeback came back up and other things happen in life or brings me back down and you know what all I could just do is keep on climbing back up so a little setback for a major comeback so whatever happens you know, I've been in jail before, and um, guess what? A little setback for a major comeback. So, you know what I mean? Don't ever let a little setback uh, hold you guys back or hold you guys down. You know, the earth is round, so what goes around comes around. And it might take a little while because the earth is pretty big. But sometimes it might come around very fast. So, who knows? But yeah, a little motivational right there. We're looking at some baseball cards, some football cards, some of the cards in my collection. You know what I mean? There it is, there it is. Thank you very much, everybody who's gotten this far watching. Um, let's see, let's, uh, I'm just gonna fly through the rest of these auction cards and we'll stop talking and try to keep this under 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, got some nice cards, double patch number. If you guys, a number out of 345. If you guys want to pause and look, Ronald well, McLean numbered as well. Got some autos. And bang then, ah, just let you know, I'm not a Bengals fan RSR, but um, I'll take it. <laughs> Not a Bengals fan. Not yet, anyways. I don't have no reason to. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and another thing I want to mention is there's a card that I recently picked up in someone else's auction. And the guy, some, I don't even know really. I just, I don't really be reading too much in the, the comments sometimes. And, um, this time I actually did. And the guy was like, wow, that card is not even worth, you know, $4 or whatever the fuck I bid it. I don't even know. But it kind of it got me mad, and um, because first of all, who are you to say what a card is worth? Second of all, uh, I played football with the guy that I auctioned that I bought that card with in high school, and he made it to the NFL. So personally, I have some personal issues with that card. It's a uh, one of my friends from high school that's on a football card, you know. So I wanted it, and if it was ten dollars. I would have paid ten dollars for it because that was my friend in high school, and I have history with that person. And uh, it was just pretty awesome for me to have a chance to buy one of his cards, you know what I mean? And um, for somebody to sit there and say that that card wasn't worth it, let me tell you, that card is way worth it. Way worth more than you could even fathom because I bet you wouldn't even be able to buy it from me. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. And people just try to be nice in the comments when we're having auctions, you know what I mean? Just, um, yeah, just let's be more positive out there. We need these positive vibes in, in these rooms and... You know, we're all we're all opening up cars, we all have passion for this hobby, and we're all going to do it a little bit different because we are human, but like all humans, there's just a little bit different in all of us, so 
yeah with that being said let me fly through these and then open up the bonus cards and i didn't keep it under 20 minutes <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, opened up a mail day video. I feel like, well, actually, it has been. <laughs> it's crazy because I got like three, four more packages of RSR right there to open up. So, I'm not sure if you guys want RSR mail days back to back to back. Mention in the comments. Um, remember, these are all bonus cards right here. Did not auction on these. Did not give them no money for these. These were just straight given out of uh, pure goodness of their hearts. So. Um, LJ Scott rookie card. It's undrafted. Thank you for putting the note in the back. <laughs> JJ Scott. I'm gonna have to look him up. It sounds familiar. Hmm. Like I'm, I should have known the guy. <laughs> and then uh, Miami Dolphins. Uh, I will say the story behind the Miami cards, which is very appreciative because um, I'm not a Miami fan, but I have cousins from the Southeast Stockton who are Miami fans. And boy, when I give them their cards, they, I mean, they're almost like a, a present. You know what I mean? You see the sparkle in their eye. And they don't even collect cards. They don't even buy cards or even, you know, I mean, they collect it because I give it to them in their Miami fan. So it goes in their Miami collection, but they don't look at it as like a card PC or anything like that. So I, I that's very appreciative. Thank you. <laughs> I like uh, seeing my cousins, you know, happy sometimes. So life's out here. So, yeah. Got some more rookies right here put this guy right here place for the Packers thank you very much University of Miami another rookie card plays for the Ravens auto oh wow are these all okay yeah auto auto sweet auto collection going up and if you guys want to see uh, any specific collection that I have, like I already said, if you want to see my Raider PC or you want to see an auto PC or you want to see a patch PC, number PC of mines, um, just, uh-oh, my phone's telling me I'm, uh, I have to get off. all right you guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and do something good for somebody else and um yeah just stay stay happy stay positive and you know don't forget to do something good for somebody because you never know when the favor is going to be returned back to you and you never know when you're going to need a favor so you know stay real stay true don't lie because if you do you're fake we ain't fake out there so no liars peace